Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, we're making a way to beat the heat pretty much anywhere you go. No hose or power required. Yep, timing of this project worked out perfect for me because for some reason the earth decided to just kind of bake us lately. So, need another way to cool down without running a hose somewhere. And we're going to build on the same idea that restaurants have been capitalizing on for a long time. Mister Systems. Now I have done personal misters before, and I even built this one that was my, you know, kind of rough draft with the intention of building the one I'm going to show you today. Most of the time that I'm going to be using this setup, it's going to be on this umbrella. So that's how I'm going to show you how to put one together. From there, I'll be able to take it up and down anytime I want to use it somewhere else. A great way to save some money on a project like this is to go to your local hardware store and pick up some parts for a drip irrigation system. Connectors and the tubing works just great. Quick stop at your office supply store and you can get some of these name badge clips too because they come in extremely handy for making this convenient to put up and down anytime you want. The only typical misting system parts that I'm using for this entire build are the nozzles and the fittings that they go in. The rest of the stuff you can find at pretty much any local hardware store. For this build, I really like using the fittings because the nozzles can be screwed in and removed if I need to clean them or clean out a clogged nozzle. And the fittings themselves, all you need to do to connect a hose is push them in. That's it, they're slip lock connectors. I love that. The reason I used the T connector when I got started with this will become very apparent soon, but as I'm getting to this first line at the end where I've connected these first four nozzles, I'm going to have an open end. Fortunately, this particular kit comes with a plug that goes right in the end of the fitting. Later in the video, I'll show you what you can do if you don't happen to have one of these kind of plugs. So as you can see here, the plan is basically just to split the line in the middle with this T so that I can add a valve. That way, I don't have to run all the nozzles all the time. I can just turn on half of them if I want to. As I'm coming to the end of the line on the other side, I'm gonna end up with another open end of the tube. So I could either add another regular plug to this, or what I'm really gonna do is put another valve on there. This gives me the opportunity to actually drain the whole system when I wanna take it down. Don't want to use a valve but need to plug the end of the line? Another inexpensive option is to get some of these goof plugs and just stick them on the other end of the tube. Alright, we're entering the home stretch. All we need to do is run the tube up from the T to go up the line, in this case underneath the umbrella, so that we can eventually get it to where we're going to be able to hook it up to what we'll be using for our water source. Any ideas yet on what I'm going to use? Mm -hmm. 
So if you buy a kit to put up, it's normally gonna have to just connect to some kind of a faucet or spigot, but there's not always one easily convenient where you wanna put up a system. <laughs> but there's a really easy solution for this, and you can find it in the hardware store in the gardening aisle. Yeah, these little home garden sprayers are perfect. This one happens to be a one gallon sprayer, but you can get bigger sizes too if you want. Basically just gives you the opportunity to have a bigger reservoir. When you pick up a sprayer for this purpose, I suggest taking the handle apart and seeing the different places it can be separated. This will give you an idea of what your options are for fittings so that you can connect it to your nozzle line. The other benefit will be if you can keep the handle intact and just take the end of the sprayer off, you still have an on-off switch that you can easily use and you will still be able to detach the hose below the handle to separate the tank and go fill it up. I'm not sure it needs to be said, but I feel compelled to say it anyway. If you're gonna set one of these up, do yourself the favor of getting a brand new sprayer. You do not wanna hook one of these up to anything that's had fertilizers or pesticides inside already. For obvious reasons, let alone the fact that it will help to keep your nozzles cleaner longer. Added bonus, most of these kind of sprayers has an on-off switch in the handle that you push down and then if you slide it forward, it'll stay locked on. That way, you don't have to figure out a way to keep it open and running and you can enjoy your new cooling effect anywhere you want to set it up. So if you're out in the blazing hot sun and you have one of these hooked up under an umbrella, and opening up all the nozzles wide open is actually a great way to cool down. But if you're throwing it underneath a hatchback, maybe attaching it to a tree trunk, golf cart, or something else, maybe you only want a few of the nozzles open so you don't get soaked. That's what the valve is for. Close down half the line and use what you need. Your water lasts longer that way too. Fewer times to run back for refills. Yeah, it's amazing what you can accomplish with a little bit of evaporative cooling. And I'm loving my new setup. If you end up making one of these, pop a comment below. Let me know how it turned out for you and where you set it up. I'd love to hear the feedback. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to stop by Dialed In DIY and chill with me for a little bit. I'd love it if you'd do me the favor of popping a like down below and subscribe into my channel and click on the bell for future notifications. Feel free to check out playlists for plenty of other types of DIY projects you can do. Feel free to share comments or share the video with others. And as always, make sure to come on back in the future because there'll be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.